This one is called the hip crossover stretch with palms down. start on the ground like this, you're going to um, bring your bring your ankles, square your ankles and your knees up a little bit, once you bring them out a little bit more, a nice 45, a little bit more is good. Uh, you're going to go ahead and put your hands out to your side, straight stretch, and you're going to put your palms facing down, hip crossover, palms down, and you're going to lift up one of your legs, just lift them up and you're going to put your ankle, yep, right on your knee, the back tip, just like that on the knee. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just rotate everything to your right. You're just going to let this all drop, that whole thing. You're just going to let it all go down to your right. Yep, just like that. And with this foot flat on the ground, yep, there you go. You're going to you're going to take your knee and move it towards the hips. You're going to open that all up in there in your hips. And that's the action right there. While you're doing it, you want to make sure your foot is flat. There you go, you got it. Can you hold that for a minute? Where are you, where are you, where's it working? This genius hip flexor. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored for this one. Starting on your back just like you are. I'm going to set the timer for one minute, which is what you're, you'll be working up to if you can. And uh, you're going to be, put your legs down, yep, and you're going to put your arms on your back still, yeah? Yeah. yeah good, good. moving down under the pad. Yeah. My feet were off. I don't like it. And you can put your arms out to the side, palms down. And you're going to uh, take your left ankle and put it on your right toe in between your second and third toe there. Yeah, just slip them right in. Yep. And you're going to tighten both quads. Just the quads. You're gonna give them a nice little squeeze just to keep them keep them going. And you're gonna rotate this whole hip. You're gonna rotate it up and over. Meanwhile, you're gonna look the other way. Yep. You want to keep your legs straight. There you go. And keep your tides. And keep these. Give them a nice. Keep sure they make sure they're nice. And nice. Nice little squeeze. This is the standing arm circles, and I'm going to start by standing. You're going to make sure that your ankles and knees and hips are all lined up. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. And you're going to make karate chop grip like this, yep, on your side. And you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together, down and back. Pinch your shoulder blades down and back without using these if you can. Good, good. And then you're going to raise your arms up, and you're going to do circles forward. Yep. Dinner place. Thinner size plate circles. You can go faster than that. A little bit faster. That's good. You can do 40 of those. <laughs> You're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna put your arms up to your side, up to your side like that, with the golfer grip. Just like you were doing, but you're gonna point them backwards now with your thumbs out, thumbs out, and it's the same motion. You're gonna pinch your shoulder blades together, down and back. And you're gonna go 40 in the other direction, going backwards now. There you go. right arm a little bit back. There you go, like that. That's good. Perfect. Okay, this is static extension and this one you're going to hold for three minutes or working up to three minutes and you're going to start in hands and knees like you were before position and you're going to make sure you're all parallel and at 90 degree angle so it's your wrist or yep, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, there you go. And you're going to roll your hips forward, let them roll forward. You can I don't do know that. what that means. Your pelvis, yep, like that, but the other way. 
Yep, you're going to let it just drop forward like that in, in between your shoulder blades. You're going to let it just relax down in there, but you're going to keep your arms straight and you're going to walk your hands out about six inches or so. Like yeah. that? Yeah, and maybe a little bit further. Okay. And um, you're just going to lean over forward oh, so that your shoulders are over your hands there. There you go, like that. Perfect. Just like that, and you're going to hold that for three minutes. It's called upper spinal floor twist, and you're going to start on your back like that. You're going to roll over to one side, roll over to one side, yeah. and you're going to want to keep your knees and your hips at a 90 so you can bring your knees up more. Yep, and you're going to want to put your ankles, yep, and you want to keep your ankles at a 90 degree with your hips, or with your knees as well, just like you know. Scooch back this way towards me. You want to keep your shoulders and your hips at a nice 90 degree angle too, so it all lines up. And uh, you're gonna put your, clasp your hands together like this. Yep. And you're gonna bring them down more towards you. Yep. And with your bottom hand, you're gonna grasp your knees. Other hand. Yep. You're gonna grasp your knees. And you're just holding it there so that your knees won't move and that your hip will stay nice and vertical with itself. And you're going to take your arm and you're just going to open it all the way back up and stretch it all out going to the other side. Yep. And you're going to go as far as you can. And you really want to try and keep your knees locked in together up here. Yeah, there you go. You want to keep your hand down below you. And you're just going to go as far as you can and you're going to hold that one for a minute. And you're going to go over and to the other side. Transform. Can you bring your arm down at all? The ideal is to eventually have your... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what you're looking for. Yep, there you go. You're starting on the ground. You're going to lay, just lay down with your feet up against the wall. Like, that's fine at a 90 degree angle. Um, mm -hmm. Why don't you put your hands out to your side at a 45, you know, mm -hmm. palms up. And you're going to take uh, your left ankle, put it on your right knee, behind your right knee. Yep. And if you need to scooch back a little bit, you can, but that looks like about right. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to take your left knee and you're going to just push it towards the, the wall there. You're going to Give it a nice, nice stretch that way. And you want to make sure that your stomach muscles are relaxed. And you're going to hold this one for up to a minute. And then you'll do the other side the same thing. Okay, so this one, you're going to start on your hands and knees. And so if you can roll over yep. and get onto a hands and knees position. Mm -hmm. And you're looking for your wrist to be below your shoulders directly. And you're also looking for your knees to be right below your hips so everything looks like a pretty much a 90 and you're going to make sure that your hips are rotated forward just a little bit nope other way yep yep nothing too major but like yeah, that that's normal and you're going to tuck your toes behind behind your um tuck your toes in yes just like, like that. that and you're going to stand up and lean back that makes sense. You're going to bring your hip up, yep, and you're going to lean it back. Yep, and just lean your body back like that. And you're going to want to maintain. It's okay if, you're, if your ankles don't touch and you're just going to... Oh, yeah, yeah right. This is just like a similar down, similar to a downward dog. Yeah, and you're going to... What you're looking for is to keep your back with that arch in it that you started off with. Yep. And so as far as you can handle, you're going to hold that for one minute. And if you can bring your shoulders back a little bit, there you go, just like that. Keep it back. Yep. Yep. Good. All right. This one, you're gonna lay on the ground, on your back, just like you were before. Yep. And you're gonna put your legs out. You're gonna lay your legs out like that. And the other one, you're gonna grab behind the knee with your hands. You're gonna bring your like your knee up to your chest, kind of like that. Yep. And you're just going to want to hold it comfortably. 
and you're going to keep this toe pointed up. You can bring them up, yep, like that. You want to keep the quad tight, not too tight, just a nice gentle Engage. squeeze. Okay. And you're going to be using, you're going to be making big circles with your with your right ankle there. Full range of motion circles, nice and slow, nice and slow, yep. And you want to work the whole circles. You're just going to go in one direction. You're going to work your way up to 40. Maybe we can do 30 right now, if you can do that. You want to go a little bit slower, and any flat spots you feel you want to try and work out. Yep. Now you're going to go the other direction. We'll do a couple in the other direction. Yep. Nice and even movement. Anywhere there's a flat spot, really try and work it. And you'll work yourself up to doing 40 in this direction as well. Meanwhile, keeping this nice and nice and squared. All right, and now you're going to do your point flexes. So now you're going to go backwards, all the way forward, or all the way vice versa. This all is right. standing windmill, and you're going to be standing like you are with your ankles up against the wall, everything oh, up against crap. the wall nice and flat, your hips against the wall and your shoulders against the wall. Mm. If you could square your left foot up, you can rotate it in just a little bit more, turn it in more, a little bit more. That looks about right. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to stand against the wall, you're going to put your arms out to your side. Yep, mm. and you're going to keep oh, your hands out like that nice and straight. Ideally you'll have a flat wall, but this is mm -hmm. as good as you got in this house. So you're going to mostly just focus on keeping their shoulders flat. Mm -hmm. And this will be a rough guide uh, of me as well. And you're going to just bend from side to side, starting from your lowest vertebrae all the way up to your top. You want to try and feel all of them moving. Yep. And then you're going to go back to the other side. And you want to keep your arms straight the whole time. Yep, now go back to the other side. Yep, there you go. And you want to keep it locked like that. You want to keep them in that locked position. Yep. Yep, that's good. Now go back the other way. And you want to keep your hips, you want to keep your legs nice and stable if you can. Yep, that's good. Now go the other way. You want to make sure that your hips are nice and stable. Yep. You don't want to kick it out. You're wanting to kick it out mm -hmm. to the side. Yeah, there you go. Especially on this side, it's wanting to go. See? Feel that? You want to really make sure that they're just mm -hmm. nice and stable. Yep, that's good. And you're going to do five there. You're going to spread your legs out. Medium stance. Ankles up against the wall. Same thing. You're going to do five. And you're going to do five in a wide stance, and you're going to end with five in the stance that you started with, in just a normal standing stance. So you're going to stand up against the wall, you're going to make everything square like we've been doing. Keep them nice and square. And this is air bench. Basically you're going to be sitting with your back up against the wall. So you're going to scoot your legs out, and you're just going to go like you're sitting in an invisible chair. Yep, that's good right there. And you're going to push your lower back, your sacrum, or sorry, your lower back into the wall. And you're going to put your hands on your lap if you need to, or just hold them out wherever, so you're not pushing, you know. And you're just going to hold that for two minutes, working up to two minutes. But for right now, we'll just do 30 seconds or so. And you want to feel it in your, you want to be pushing in your ankles and into your low back is where you want to be pushing. And you don't want your hands, keep your hands mm -hmm. out to your side. Yeah, they're loose. Yeah, nice and loose. You can bring your head up against the wall. There you go, just like that. 